Hello and welcome to Yagwai Gaming where we're playing some Red Dead Redemption 2 and I've just figured out you can kick off your horse that is so cool press the wrong button to get off and he did a little kick let's try it again oh yeah you kick people <laughs> all right that's brilliant so we're looking for Jose and we're gonna see what quest he has for us down in Emerald Farm to see what he wants us to do. We're going to see if it's an interesting story or if we end up beating up some poor individuals again. <laughs> Hopefully the former, not the latter. Way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Partner, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What are you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go <laughs> rob love his it. cousin. By marriage. <laughs> we can't kill them. Interesting. Not being allowed to kill people makes things more difficult, doesn't it? Ah, it's a goat! Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Could you go? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. In that case, I wonder if our. Where's my. Oh no, my lasso's there. Lasso might be a good idea. From your bear encounter. That way, if someone does actually catch us or see us or whatever, we can hopefully just lasso them. And Could have played that better, couldn't you? Mm. All you wanted me Leave the pot to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feller's a joke. Jose, that's, yeah, that's how we say it. Perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches. That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Speaking of hats, I appear to have lost mine. Tapping shift in time with your horses, Gala. Quite tricky to do. I think we kind of managed that gallop there a little bit, but that's quite tricky. Right, let's get off our horses and let's see if we can rob this stagecoach. The then we can ahead. start robbing stagecoaches for money if we want. But I, I do want to do honor. I do want to be honorable, so maybe we can't rob too many stagecoaches. We'll see. I suppose if we didn't kill anyone, maybe. We'll give it a try. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Huh? He said there was money in the house, though. I want, I want the money. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Don't have my binoculars. 
Oh, there they are. So the barn's at the back. Doesn't look like there's anyone. Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Uh, let's go in the day. Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Nice to be able to actually Don't see follow things. me. Right, so we need to go around the back of the house then. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Like this, this this door here. Oh, we've got a red dot on the map now. Someone's seen Jose. There. My good man! My good young man. Fairly well, fairly well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here, please. And you know what? Oh. Here, you, the father of the house. Sure. Pleasure to meet you. Right, let's see if we can search. So we need to get um, forty-five dollars worth of stuff. It's gonna be somewhere like in the house, isn't it? They open this chest. Take, take everything. Up in the bedroom, maybe. About this chest in the main bedroom. No, 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 no close the chest. I <laughs> like Jose's little sales pitch down there. Right, take. What are we on? We're on 37, so we're doing alright. any more loot spots but we need seven more dollars well seven and a half ish an apple count an apple does count why can't I take this Kentucky bourbon I guess I don't have enough inventory space for it Let's see the carrot that makes perfect sense There was a chest here as well that we didn't search. Is it? Yeah, there we go. Fifty dollars, right? Get in! He's not going in. Let's see where these two people go. Looks like they're going back into the house. Right, if they're in the house, we can try and figure out how the fuck we get in this barn. The main door? 
that's what we're in. So we wait for Jose here. You done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Get on, dear boy. We need to go around the other side then. We're gonna have a chase. Get on and let's head back. I feel like they're gonna notice a stagecoach going out of their bar. Apparently not. Damn it, they're on to us. Oh, there we go. We need to get out of here. Don't shoot them. Oh, my horse is just following in the distance. Bless it. <laughs> good penny. A good pony. Oh shit, I'm not looking where I'm going. We go cross country this way. You should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. Oh my god. If you don't slow down. So what were you able to lift from the house? So because we left the stuff open. None too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. That's so cool. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. Oh, I wish I'd known that I'll beforehand. Why? No, speed. Speed is the answer. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. We're here? I think we're here. 50! So, here's something strange. Seamus was telling me how he also makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and such like. Good luck charms. What? Like a rabbit's foot? I suppose, but he was claiming they really do work. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Nice. Oh, uh, my turning radius isn't great. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine, nice people. Mm. I'm gonna have to do a three point turn into here. here. I'm trying, I'm trying, but they're not exactly known for their ability to turn on a dime. There we go. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? No, I want to see if we can find a coach to steal. I want to see now if we can actually use this guy's abilities to give us coaches. How much money did we get from him? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. Couldn't press any of my buttons and I realized it's because we had to talk to Jose. <laughs> right. You can now sell stolen wagons to Seamus at the wagon fence in Emerald Ranch. Okay, so... We have $600 now. Yeah, we're getting we're getting wealthy. Let's go, boy. Okay. I think a new thing has appeared on our map too because we only had Dutch. We've now got Dutch and... A letter. Yes, a letter has arrived for you. We loved once and true. Okay. I think I did see that letter the other day. Right. So what we want to do now is find a stagecoach. Rob it. And then see if we can get it back to this, um, to this trader and see exactly what they're worth. So we want to pick up a main road like this. And we want to go riding along it. And now I think our best bet is going to be to lasso them off. I don't know if we can... There! There! How do we... Right, okay, let's see if we can do this. So there was like a jump to stagecoach button. There's three men on there, but if I lasso... Him... He okay? He's okay. Nope. Go to hell. 
And this is mine now. You people come for a ride. Should we go? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I've made a mistake. Shit. My carriage has run away. With the witness. One more. For fuck's sake. Hey, stop. Leave me alone. Stop, goddammit. Oh, I've made a huge mistake here, haven't I? Jesus Lord. God's sake. Failed here. Right, uh let's see if we can get this guy first. You, right. Now then. Let's have a chat. I won't ask again. Don't do this. I'll take that as a yes. For making a fuss, I'll have your money too. Okay. Shit. Here. Rob him. That that lost us honor. Yeah. All right. Jesus Lord. Damn it all. Fuck. So we've got ourselves a. We've, we've become a criminal. I mean, obviously, we're going to become a criminal. We've. Uh, Flip's sake, we have a bounty now in the Heartlands. Ah, oh. Wait, do we? Has it gone? No, yeah, no. We've got a $15 bounty. That's a problem. Right, so it looks like we need to tie up that guy. Wait, shit, I have a mask! Where's my mask? I am a fucking imbecile. Oh my god. <laughs> Just casually robs people without putting his mask on. Oh, what a fucking idiot. Right, look, look, look. You Here we go. I want to pay it. I want to pay the bounty. About time you got what's coming to you. What is this? Surely I just pay my bounty. Surely this isn't like a game over screen. Yeah, there we go. It's a $15 bounty. I can pay it. Did we pay the bounty? It's minus $12. Why only 12 Huh. Right, we're going to try this again. I want a stagecoach. We're going to end up losing all our honor this playthrough, I bet. Like, I'm not do doing it deliberately. I'm not playing Murder Hobo or anything. Um, which is a D, &D reference, if you don't know. I'm not playing that st sort of style of playthrough deliberately. But I just I want to experience everything the game has to offer. And a lot of that is... Not strictly speaking, legal stuff. So, you know, we are unfortunately sometimes going to end up committing crimes. Right, let's go up the road and let's see if we can't figure out how to rob a stagecoach. Because there must be a way of doing it. Do we put our mask on now? That's a good question. There we go, mask on. Right. Next stagecoach to come to come across our path gets robbed. I feel like we should have meet one eventually if we stick to a main road. Maybe this isn't a main road. Well, I mean, you're obviously up to no good. We're gonna stay back. This here's a private affair. No, it's not. Hi, Doodle. Oh, she's off. I'm trying. Right, we'll hog tie this fella, and we'll loot him. We'll go rescue her. 
And then we'll see what this dude wanted to do. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I like how I'm performing random acts of heroism while uh, on my way to rob someone. Realize I should also take my mask off so that she knows who's rescued her. Put me down now. What if I just kidnap you? All right, I'm gonna put you down over here so we can talk, okay? We can find oh, out. Why won't you let me? I will, down? I will, I will, I will. I just want to know what's going on. Are you really gonna leave me tied up like no, this? No, Jesus! You don't need to narrate everything I need to do to rescue you. Thank the Lord you showed up when you did. All oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, <laughs> ma'am. It's over now. Right, okay, so that gained us honor. Okay. Now... In the spirit of... Doing the moral thing... Nice folks around here. And also in the spirit of... Uh, I want a hat. Oh cool, we didn't lose any honor for that. And I got a hat. There we go. It's good to do the right thing, isn't it? Boy. Right, let's go. Let's go find a carriage to rob now that we've been a hero. I have a hat again. Life is good. All things considered, considering that man's particular actions, I feel like we did him a kindness there. It's the right thing to do. Can you hogtie a deer? Are you fast enough to catch up to it? That's a good question. Oh, good enough at eight. Oh, 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 there we go. We have our mask on. Mask on. Oh, this is a shit car, though. This is just like a couple of farmers. Do I even want to know what that mask is for? Amen to that. Go on and move! Nah, that's not worth it. It's also not cool to rob the common working man. We want to rob someone with a nice fancy. Oh, hello. What is that? It sounds like a fort. Penny for the blind. Okay. Let's take our mask off again because we're doing nice things Penny now. For the blind. How do I interact with this man? Penny for the blind. I'm trying to interact with you, sir. Penny ah, there we go. For the blind. Why won't it let- it won't let me. I want to give you money. Penny for the blind. I want to, but it's great out. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Penny for the blind. Look, look, look. One second. Let me move my horse away, because my horse might be the problem. Help a blind man. I physically can't. There we go. You didn't run when last we spoke, sir. You didn't run far enough. Okay. What? I ain't too sure what to make of that. What? I have nothing more for you now. Go use what you know. Don't end up like me. Who the fuck is he? Alright, we're gonna have a look at what this fort thing is. Yeah. Big red area. Fort Wallace. If I ride up to it, are you going to immediately shoot me? Hello? Hi. Can we be friends? Hey, who the hell are you? All right, simmer down. A uh, restricted area. We can't be friends. Okay. Can I break into the fort? Is it possible at this stage in the game for me to break into the fort? I kind of want to break into the fort. 
right, we're gonna go stage cat stagecoach hunting again. Because I'm very upset that we haven't managed to find a decent one. But let's have a look at our map and let's see how far away we are from Emerald Ranch. Quite far actually. If we follow this road and then come down here, maybe, that's probably the best way of getting back to the ranch. And we'll, you know, we'll be going along the road, so hopefully we'll find a car carriage. Or just another cool little event. Like the blind man, or... Why is there just a random horse here? Oh, these do... The horse's man is there. Let's see what they are after. Mister? What are you doing on the ground? Sorry, what? mister. My mind was elsewhere. Whatever, you damn fool. Alright, that's just rude. That's a strong looking horse. Thanks. Interesting. Okay, What's see? Your goddamn problem? Alright! Kinda of rude, aren't you? Nice, huh? You're a problem yourself. You'd have a stagecoach, you're not worth my time. I think we're too far out in the wilds to get the nice coaches. I think we need to get back down into the the rich area near Emerald Ranch. Near Valentine and stuff. More coaches are going around that sort of area. There's still a chance we'll see one between here and there. And even if we don't, riding around this game is so nice because there's so many cool little events that can appear and whatnot. Where are we? Right, okay, so if we follow this main road here, I bet there's a carriage. I bet we find a carriage on this main road. It's bigger. Bigger on our map, it's bigger in person. That's where we just were. This is where we just were. Well, hello. I am so sorry. Like, I know I said I wasn't going to steal the farming ones, but... No! Shit! I don't have my thing! You don't know who I am. Look, I'm I'm invisible. I'm just fine without your company and okay now. Yep. Witness to assault. Right, let's go. Take her off it as well. We can jump to the wagon or we can Oh no, we're on the wagon. Hello. I lost honor for that. Got you now. <laughs> what if I hog tie you? Do I lose honor for this? Apparently not. Uh, moaning won't help you. Okay, what about just casually stealing this stuff? If I take this now to Emerald Ranch, well, let's see how much I'll money we get for it. Yeah. Right. I... Oh shit, there's some gunshots going on up there. I need to go find out what it is, don't I, in case it's something important. Or is it already over? I think whatever it is is already over. It's fine. I want to steal this wagon. That's a, that's our priority right now. It's wagon theft. Nothing else. Wagon theft. So we've lost honor from doing this, but we haven't got... Um, we are more honorable than not honorable, so... Clearly we're doing something right. I think we killed him. Which is a not good thing. Oh, is that a nicer carriage? If you see a nearby civilian, or hear something. Stay back from the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. 
Investigating civilians are marked with a white. Oh, I did kill them. Oh, they'll mark it and then the so the little I means that they haven't seen the actual criminal. They'll mark the sort of crime on the map and then someone will go find it. Someone will go like double check. As long as we just leave the area, we should be fine. Wanted. Why am I wanted? I don't know it's me. What's the point of the fucking face mask if I can still be wanted for crimes? So I did kill that man. We need to make sure we don't kill the next one. God, we're leaving like a trail as well. Wouldn't be too hard for anyone to trap us. Right, let's see what happens when the wanted thing runs out. Now wagons break. No, I just don't know how to sell this thing to you. Oh, like this, I guess. I guess I talked to you. Oh, do you make me drive it in when I arrive? Uh, what happened to the horse? Oh my god, I killed a horse. What the fuck? Oh, this hasn't gone very well, has it? We'll just drag the body in, it's fine. He can sell it for me. I figured this might be of interest to you. Well, ain't this a lovely little thing? Deal. How much? And this is for you. Let's see how much one man's life and a horse's life costs. $40, that's worth it. Folk here got no time for masks. Alright, I'll take my mask off. Right, am I wanted in this area then? No. So. Okay, There's a stagecoach there, a nice one. Okay, we're gonna try and get this without killing anyone, without losing any honor. We're gonna see if it's possible, alright? Yeah. Just saw it go past. <laughs> Is it on this main road down here? Just saw it. There. Okay, so we want our mask on. This is a nice stagecoach which we're going to steal without anyone dying. And without any witnesses. In fact, if I'm not wrong, that's pretty much exactly the same stagecoach as the one they had us steal earlier. What in the hell? Okay. So we need to pull him off carefully. So he can die while being pulled off. Get a bit further away from up here. Right, let's do it here. I'll help you show the back. Help me. There we go. Alright, then we hogtie this fella. Hey, what? Alright. When I get loose. And then we just run over to the car, and we've done it without losing any honor, right? <clears throat> what? How? We lose honor for the act of theft? I mean, it makes sense, but it's annoying. All right, it looks like the actual act of, of theft makes us lose honor. Which means there's no way we can do this without losing all our honor. 
Wait, how have we got a red marker? Did he see us? Or did he get out? Can people get out? Being hogtied. I have no idea. Alright, this is the last stage coach we're gonna do. We're gonna go do some more quests now because I feel like we've done a pretty bad job of being a stagecoach robber. We're not a good highwayman. We are not Dick Turpin. If you don't know who Dick Turpin is, he's a, a famous English highwayman. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, stagecoach. Right, let's try and not have our horses killed this time. Oh fuck, the body's still there. Is that body going to be there for my entire game now, reminding me of my failure every time? Well, you might be interested in it this. is, isn't it? Oh. The hell you done to this poor thing? Hey! Here. Pleasure. How much money this time? That was a better coach, surely. So long. Oh, right, so it's a flat $40 then, I think. No matter the, the coach. We're still more honorable than not. Okay, we're gonna head back to camp and we're going to see what Dutch wants. Because we've had Dutch's quest, I think, sitting there for a little bit of time now. We're gonna go back over to camp. Actually, first I'm gonna ride to Valentine because I have a free pistol, but nothing's been unlocked yet. I don't think anything will have been unlocked yet anyway, so no. We're gonna go we're gonna go over to Dutch. We're gonna go see what Dutch wants. We're gonna see what Dutch wants and see if we can continue our story somewhat and yeah. stop robbing poor innocent coach drivers for uh, $40 a pop. Which is, you know, I did try some hunting and the coach robbery is definitely more profitable. But I think no matter how I do it, I will lose honor. Which is, meh. Meh. Makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Let's go find out what Dutch wants. Hey, horsey. Hey there, horsey. It's alright. She's now. Alright, little horsey. Easy now. Here you go. We get on up. Nice and easy. <laughs> I've successfully broken a horse. How much does a horse sell for? And which is better, our horse or this horse? Can we, how do we look at it? So show info. So speed is three, acceleration is two. So what's this horse? Speed three, acceleration two. So they're about as good as each other. Right. I wanna see if we can sell it. Come boy. Tell Penny to follow. I'm gonna ride to Valentine, which is quite a trek away. But I'm gonna ride to Valentine now on this horse and see if see if it's not actually worth something to sell. Cause that that's kind of cool. If we can make money by taming wild horses and selling them, and we can t keep taming wild horses until we find one that we like. I think taming a wild horse is gonna be the way to go. Cause you know you get a bit more of a connection, a bit more of a bond, don't you? something that you've tamed yourself. I know it's just a game, but the bond is real. My love is real for the pony. But yeah, we've got a wild horse now. That's fucking cool. That wasn't as difficult as I was expecting it to be, but... Someone is a-shooting. Why is someone a-shooting? What are you a-shooting? Hey, friend. Wanna try me again? See if you do any better? No, I, it was an accident! It was an accident! Dude! 
Also, I'm like 99% sure I killed you. But okay, I'm just gonna leave. I'm still honorable somehow. <laughs> somehow I'm still honorable, but it was just an accident. You didn't need to pull your gun out. Oh my god. Yeah. Right, where's this is I'm going the opposite direction of Valentine here. Alright. Let's head over to Valentine. Let's see if we can sell this horse. Let's see what it's worth. And then let's go over to Dutch and start our missions over there. All right, here we are at Valentine at the stables. Let's see if this horse is actually worth anything. See how this works. Welcome to you and your horse. So the the he's worth two dollars. Oh, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> I gotta pay you a little less because of the missing paperwork. Okay. There's no missing paperwork. Is Pennyworth more? Like if I take Penny in, because we have Penny's paperwork, don't we? If I go remove saddle, just let me get this off, boy. We put saddle saddle over on a Mustang. Okay. So they've got the same stats. So if Penny's worth more, we'll just sell Penny. Move, dog. Oh no, I'm the worst person ever! What the fuck am I doing to animals in this game? No. Penny is worth a lot more. Got some stable space for rent if you're interested. Right, let's sell Penny. We don't need two of the same horse. Oh, by Dutch warm blood. That's nice. Hungarian half breed. American standard bread, but we've lost that big black horse that we had right at the beginning. Okay, let's take... So this is our new horse. And he's got no paperwork or anything because we tamed him wild, so he's not worth anything. Hey, Driscoll. You borrow from the O'Driscoll boys, you pay the O'Driscoll boys. What you staring at? I Move made it right with you, I swear. Well, then. You two can't I win a fair about fight, the interest. Daddy. Looks like you need a lesson. Looking forward to the oh, funeral. Oh, fucking hell. Eat this. Two on one fights are just annoying in this game. Okay, let's see if we can get through it. Yeah, the fist fighting is definitely not a great mechanic in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know what they could have done to make it better, but the fist fighting is just bad. There we go. You old Driscolls are pathetic. Hello there. Hello. How are you doing? You might have just saved my life, stranger. You're a gentleman. They won't bother you no more. <laughs> if, if only there was more men like you, and less of them damn old Driscolls. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see to my ailings. Thank you, mister. No worries. Really. All right, let's uh, pick up a hat, of course. Can't be going without a hat. And... Whose horse are you, then? Can I sell you? I search you, are you gonna kick me? I have a bad history of horses kicking me. Can I what happens if I get on you? Just ride you straight over to this table here and sell you. Can I do that? I think I can do that. Welcome to you and your horse. Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. I mean, it's just a dollar, but it's not like it's my horse, is it? I just nicked it from over there. Cool, let's do the same thing with the other one. 
It's not a lot of money, but it's money. And it's free. I wonder if there's a forge paperwork mechanic. That'd be good. If you could pay like a couple of dollars and the horse would be worth more. So for good wild horses, you should be able to forge their paperwork. And then sell them for more money or keep them or whatever, but... Uh-oh. This horse's legs will crush soon if you don't lay off the treats. <laughs> Did he just call my horse fat? I mean, it's not my horse, but... Oh, that makes me feel bad about beating up the O'Driscoll. He spoiled his horse. What a nice man. Right. Now you. You're my new horse. I don't know if I can name you or anything, but I can brush you because we're besties now. There we go. Alright, I like my new horse. Can I name it? If I take it into the, the stable, can I name my new horse? What do we call it? Right, how do I do this? Manage owned horses. Got some stable space for rent if you're interested. Wait, I own this? Do I? It's crap. Why can't I sell it? Uh, is that like one that I, I have to own? I can't sell it because it's like the base horse or something. Maybe. Upgrade. How do I... Equip appearance. Main. This horse will pass for nobility when I'm through. Oh, right. Okay, we're decorating our horse now. I like this horse. We tamed it ourselves. It's our horse. It's a good horse. Let's give it... No, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of the braids either. I quite like the long mane, actually. Can we change its color? Oh, we can. Oh, it looks very nice with white, I think. Yeah, all right. How much does that cost? Two dollars. That's fine. That I guarantee. Right, and then let's have a look at his tail. No harm in Gussie and your horse up. No, there is not. Braided tail, I think. Yeah, we can, we can braid his tail, and he can have uh, a white white tail as well. Yeah. A good choice. How do I change his name? Services. Rename horse! There we go. Okay, what do we call him? Because he looks silvery and he looks dusty, so we'll call him Silver Dust. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that'll fit. Right. Um, services. Horse care package. Fully restores all horse cars. He's fine. I don't think he needs that. I don't think... He, uh, you know what? Anything We're buying him. For, happy, yeah, right? anything to keep him happy. <laughs> I really like my horse. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. I don't think I need to change any of this stuff. I don't think changing it actually does much at the moment. So, and it's such That's a small cosmetic too. upgrade that we won't bother with any of that. Okay. So our horse has got a beautiful tail, a beautiful mane, and a beautiful new name, and it's our horse. Okay, now we can go over and see what Dutch wanted, now that we've uh, took care of the really important stuff in beautifying our horse. Right, it is morning. We donated all of those items to the camp, and we upgraded pretty much everything we could. We spent like 300 and something dollars on upgrades. Now, Dutch has a job for us, I think. Miss O'Shea. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! 
Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. <laughs> you know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Is Micah the one who came with us on, on the last son. mission who was just a complete dick? I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Ah, look at that pony. Right. Ride to the Valentine Saloon. So we're gonna get this kid drunk first. Then we're gonna go show up a town. I rode as fast as I could, didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for it. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. Wonder if Micah has actually murdered someone. There. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in too. And he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. It happened like the strike of a man. Come on. We should stick together, Arthur. Well, you should hurry up then, shouldn't you? Saying something. Oh yeah. The law was on us fast too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about market. <laughs> It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, <laughs> I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. All right, that isn't foreshadowing, is it? Let's see how well this goes for us. Here we are. You got a real what problem, gives? don't you, huh? We hit. Yeah, we can hitch our horsey here. Yeah. Right. Let's see. Hey, everyone. It's me. I'm back. <laughs> how you all doing? Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Okay, something's gonna kick off. Like I just just one or two. Right now. Of course, just a drink. No big drum. Can we get a couple beers, please. You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's. He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike. A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be oh, quiet, buddy. God. Oh, there, dullards. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People have been leaving me alone for the last. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. 
But me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Don't need to shoot every problem or punch every problem. That's nice. Oh god, Arthur is very drunk. <laughs> That's great, pardon. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Lenny, where are you? You know which way my friend went? Don't ask me. Lenny! Oh. Uh... Anyone else getting concerned hey, Lenny. Lenny's not out there. Lenny must be upstairs. Either Lenny's being... having not good things done to him, or he's upstairs with one of the women having good things done to him. Hey, you see my friend anywhere? Wrong feller to ask. What are you doing? Oh, he's up here. There we go. Hello? <laughs> All right, he's just drunk. That's fine. I was getting nervous. <laughs> hey, why did you never marry? Oh, that's the thing you see. Is it... Lenny? Lenny! Get away from me! Now, who's slippery little like shit, ain't you? Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. <laughs> what the fuck? This is a long piss. Oh, okay, if I move, he stops. Hey, horsey. Why is Lenny a bastard now? Lenny, where are you hiding now? Oh, fuck me. Lenny! <laughs> the words are all... The words are all jump off. Oh, Lenny! <laughs> Tierg. Been looking all over for you, Lenny. How many have you had, pal? <laughs> Lenny! <laughs> Fucking good mission! Damn it, Lenny, stop slumping off on me! Do I look like a Lenny to you? <laughs> Alright, I assume we can discount anyone in a dress as being Lenny. If I, is this. I can't remember what Lenny was wearing. There you are, Lenny! I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Yeah, I'm gonna discount anyone in a dress, I think. I found you, Lenny! <laughs> Lenny? Go away, you yeah. drunk. Yeah, alright, let's go back down. Let's... Oh. Arthur, what are you doing? <laughs> He's just slapping each other drunkenly! <laughs> I'm not gonna drown him, no! What? No, let him back up! I'm gonna fucking drown him because I'm drunk. Jesus game!
What have I done? I've seen enough. Oh. Arthur. You alive? Arthur. Uh, you alive, Arthur? Uh, I want to die. <laughs> Been there. What did we do? I don't know. Oh, me neither. <sighs> yeah. You pair degenerates. <sighs> There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we <laughs> didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> Either you fools got any money? It's ten dollars and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either you around here no more. <laughs> so, that was a quiet drink? First one was pretty quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least it took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <sighs> what a brilliantly lit written character <laughs> Arthur is. <laughs> He just feels so real and three-dimensional. I fucking love it. So what do we got on our map now? Have we got Micah? Yeah, let's go rescue Micah. Dutch asks that you get Micah out of the jail in Strawberry. All right, we'll go rescue. Your stamina core is empty. Okay, we need something to eat. Got any meat that we've cooked? Because that's usually the best stuff. Need some chocolate. There we go, that's got our stuff recovered. Now, can we get our guns back? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Carrying your gun, Arthur. Right, let's head over towards Strawberry now that we've recovered from that drinking session. And let's see if we can't rescue Micah. We are going to be going into band uh, well, not bandit territory, I'm the bandit. We're going to be going into territory where I have a price on my head. So, it's going to be a bit risky. I think we should use this train bridge over here to cross. Okay. Did I just imagine that? Oh, it's there. It's on the other side of the river already. Okay, yeah, no worries. Oh, I nearly ran a horse off a cliff. And I nearly did it again. I need to get on the road. I need to get on the road before I get poor Dusty killed. Start calling it Dusty as its little nickname. Dusty needs a brush. How far to Strawberry? Not super far, but quite far at the same time. Got a marker on it? No, so we're not going to get told the direction to go, but cross here and go up. If we can find our way to the train tracks, that seems to be one of the best ways of traveling. It's my favorite way of traveling, I think. If we can get ourselves up to the tracks, that would be brilliant. Hmm. Yeah, there we go, tracks. Right. So now that we're on the tracks, if we follow them pretty much directly to past Wallace Station, yeah, we can follow them a really long way until we get to that marker there and then we turn. More or less, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna ride along these tracks. I'm gonna see if we can get ourselves to Strawberry and we're gonna see if we can save Micah. So let's get riding. It's gonna take a while to get there. 
What is going on? I don't know who I'm shooting here, whether I'm shooting the lawmen or the Adriscals. But I think every single one of them is my enemy, so. You're right, Hobbs. Who is this? I'm gonna tell the law all about you. If they ever come out here. Oh, you're an Adriscal. Okay. I just bet you kill a defenseless man. Get out. I mean, okay. Personally, I would have gone with thank you, but, you know, each to their own. We all have different ways of dealing with people. Boss is having a bit of a problem up there, so we'll summon him back down here. Yeah, so this was an O'Driscoll. Right, so we killed O'Driscolls who were trying to free their little O'Driscoll friend. I don't think we killed this lawman. I want his hat! Pick him up with his hat fall off. Yes! <laughs> yes it does! Okay, where's his hat gone? Perfect. I'm in heaven. I don't think we killed the uh, the lawman, to be honest, so who cares? We didn't do anything wrong. We shot a bunch of Driscolls. We even let one out because we were feeling charitable, and that went well, didn't it? Who knows where his body went. Alright, let's get back on the train track and let's get riding again. That's, yep. that's a tree. Come on, Arthur. Come on, horsey. You can figure it out. That's a tree. <laughs> and we're back on the track. We're back on track. You get it? Oh my god, how has that joke not been made before? It's been staring me in the face. I could also say that this story is very linear. In fact, one could say it's on rails. <laughs> I'm sorry. Give me. All right, we are at Strawberry, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go in on foot. I think we don't want our horse to be sort of murdered. We got our guns. We got all the guns. Let's go in on foot and let's see if we can break Micah out of Strawberry. I'm more than happy to do this guns blazing if I have to, but. There will be a subtler way of doing it, I reckon. Might be a case of paying for him to be let out. But there's the gallows. One way to fucking do this, isn't it? Yep. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mix, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Shooting them not an option? Feels like I could shoot Let them. Me out of here, you maggots. All right, let's see if we can talk to Micah. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? 
I ain't decided yet. Real but... funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silent. But you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. You got any dynamite? Find a way to free Micah, okay. Can we sneak in here? This wall just needs some good force. Dynamite. Right, let's go see if we can buy some dynamite then. Feel like I could break in there and kill everyone. Put my gun away. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Steam donkey. You want about this thing? Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. Oh, I mean that worked. I'd say it's better than shooting everyone. <laughs> Didn't want to just shoot everyone. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. All right, let's see if this does it. There's the uh, activation lever. This thing Come here. On, you gotta try something. All right, let's do it. Let's pull it. Show you this is gonna make all the fucking noise though. Like, there's three men up in the building up there. Let's get out of here, come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Oh, for fuck's sake, okay. Guess we're doing it like this then, eh? <laughs> Didn't have to go like this. Oh. Why is everyone against him? What the fuck has he done? Don't go that way. Oh, I'm Let's losing honor. Like, I'm losing all the honor. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Trust you? You have finally lost your damn mind. Let's get out of here. Keep moving. What a dead are alive. A shotgun. God damn me. Nope, that's not good. But yeah, let's get a bad data on. Feel really bad for we're just killing innocent people here. Send them all out. Come on. Everything you got. We're just slaughtering a fucking town. We should be long gone by now. They got something of mine, I Jesus. Why? Why is he so bloodthirsty? Dead or alive. It ain't skinny, Micah. It's Norman. Oh. Oh. You always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. What the fuck is he doing? 
the fuck? What the fuck? They had something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it this time. I want to shoot him! What? Micah has died. Alright, let's restart the mission then. So if Micah dies, the mission fails. I don't want to do this. Yeah. He's an actual Hello, piece sir. of shit. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. We can skip this. Let me out of here, you mag! I desperately don't want to save him. Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking. We have folk. to get him out. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you. He's such a twat. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Oh, okay. Oops. 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 Didn't mean to do that. Alright, I mean, let's try it the other way, I guess. Hi, everyone! Oh, you're still going! Shit! Stop looting! Ah, they're shooting! Alright, cool. <laughs> Got something that recovers our health. Uh, yeah, biscuits. Grab the cell keys. Yeah, so this is actually a legitimate way of doing it. I wonder if there's any way of doing it quietly at all. There must be a way. Where are the keys? Are they on him? Are they on this guy's body? Or are they in this? Ooh, money clip. Come on, get this door open. Oh wait, keys out, mate. Sorry. I'm, like I'm trying to figure life out, but I'm struggling. I think I might already have the keys. Is he just going to start shooting everyone again? There's no way of stopping the Vika carnage. Oh, for God's sake. Nope, there's no way of stopping the Vika carnage. Let's get the hell out of here! I got some un- Business! Trust me, Morgan! 
What is the ability to kill Micah now? Fucking hate him. Just like an unquestionable bad person. We got something that gives us health and dead eye. Yeah, that'll do. Two, three, four. We really should get out of here. Calm yourself, woman. Like I said, I need to see someone. Okay. I don't think we've lost honor this time, though. Get out here. All right. He's just gonna murder some people. Why did they have his guns then? Who has he killed? Why do I feel like they're family? And they just killed some random woman as well. Hello, it's interesting, a good portion of this game makes me deeply uncomfortable. This is where he died last time. What, what's shooting at me? Oh, this prick. Who wants to see me Oh! How is he? Right, we'll retry at the checkpoint this time. I'm really struggling with this mission. The dude just wants to get himself killed, and I don't want to kill people. Single headshot, does it? Yeah. This time. Come on, Bob, this way. Yeah? Who wants Jesus, to he's just off. Kill these. Oh, a horse. Nice. Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. You don't now fucking you say, dear. Right, we need to have another cigarette or something. Some brandy. Let's get our dead eye back. Body just staying in the saddle. What a dead or alive fucking hell. There we go. Jesus, how many are we gonna have to kill our way through? Oh 
Oh my god, how many that people did we just fucking kill? Morgan? I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Gotta be wild, all right. Wild? Making a house co- A cigarette? Yeah. Oh, in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. Liker is just a liability. He's just fucking loopy. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes... Brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. That's fair. Are we gonna get double pistols now with the holster? Please give me double pistols. Please let me dual wield revolvers. That's all I want. Offhand holster. Yes! Yes, 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 Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. Right, we need to go to Val- Hey, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, horsey. No, 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 it's all right. Right, we need to go to Valentine and get ourselves a new pistol. So we can have, um two revolvers instead of a ref oh my god valentine is so far away and there's like no fast travel system <laughs> we go up to this train track here we can follow it all the way around strawberry is just like a flat out no go they'll kill you on site zone now so that's nice um wonderful <laughs> so if we follow this road round, it'll bring us up to the train track we go across this bards crossina and uh past Flatneck, and then up through the heartland up to valentine and my goal now is to get myself a double pistol been here before isn't this where we beat up the uh the dude for one of the bounty things we i'm sure i've been here anyway Anyway, it's going to be quite a long ride, so I'll see you when we get to Valentine and we'll buy ourselves a new pistol, a new revolver, so we can dual wield revolvers, because, ugh, shotguns. Like, why, why would I need a little sawn off shotgun when I already have a big double barrel shotgun? If a train comes across this bridge right now, I'm going to get squished. I don't think me and Silver Dust will survive a jump into the river. So let's hope no train comes. And off to Valentine. That was a horrible mission. I I feel like emotionally drained sometimes playing this game because I overthink it. You know, I know that sounds stupid. I'm one of those people who gets invested. I, I like I like to ob obsess over media, whether it's books or shows or games or whatnot. You know, the scenes from Mass Effect that break my heart still after playing them 15 times. You know, but yeah, that was quite that was quite draining because. You were just objectively the bad guy there. No question about it. You were flat out evil. Have a cake, horse. I don't know. 
my relationship with Arthur changes every fucking half an hour of gameplay. Yeah. Goes from being heroic to being villainous to being heroic to being villainous to being a morally grey character to just being a regular person who displays faults and flaws and qualities like everyone. And yeah, it's the mark of some pretty amazing writing. So let's get to Valentine. Let's get ourselves a pistol. Alright, we're back in Valentine. Let's hitch our horse over here. Okay, that was a gymnastic way of dismounting, but it works. We can go in here and we can get ourselves a new gun. So, what are you aiming for today? You will receive a discount at this shop because of your high honor. I have the Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his barn. Ain't sure it was his to start with, mind you. <laughs> I don't think I'm very honorable. I just shot up an entire town. But I should have a free gun still. Because so I got one. Have I lost? I've lost my ability to get a free gun. Huh. Interesting. But I can buy a Schofield revolver. So I'm already on the Cattleman revolver here, I think. So the Schofield is what? Higher damage, the same poker. range. Perhaps you could join me later in Smithfields. Slower reload. And that's a pistol. Hmm. Alright, let's get this Schofield revolver then. Carry it with pride. I will. Components. Okay. <gasps> it's a nice piece and all, but I'd personally add some rifling. Take right. it or leave it. Barrel. Length. You got the long barrel on? Yeah, I, I want the long barrel. I like long barreled pistols. Rifling. Improved rifling. Okay. Iron sights. Improved iron sights. I mean, it's a couple of dollars, isn't it? Rip. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt. Your pick. Go for an ebony grip. That looks really nice. You know what? I bet I Styles. can make this piece work a lot better. Oh my bolts, god, you triggers, can engrave it. Parts back here. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Wait, how do I engrave it? How do you... Does it work? I, I don't think I can engrave it yet. No. Carvings. Oh wait, it's there, it's there. Engravings. Is it this? Oh. Oh my god, I love this game. What the fuck? Any information about anything, shush, anything shush, at all, go you away. give me a shout. Oh my god, that is so nice. I don't like it on the cylinder, I think that's a bit much. But I'm not even sure I like it on the frame, but that little bit on the barrel is really good. Right, so if we get rid of that... Okay, so we want barrel... Okay. Can't do the barrel by itself. So let's see what we like on the barrel. I do quite a lot of blacksmith work in here too. Don't mind the clutter. Victorian. Hmm. Quite like the... Yeah, that's the one. Alright, so then we turn... Turn the cylinder... Uh... Yeah, let's leave this on. Let's leave the, s the barrel in the frame. We'll turn the cylinder off. Just remembered I put my pistol down as a bid in poker the other night. I can't recall who won that, though. Damn. Yeah, we get the black and steel. Okay, so we can buy that. Alright, and then what is this carvings in the grip? Hmm, or we could go for... I think we have to have a carving. If we have to have a carving, we'll go for a puma since it's what killed us the first time. Oh wait, one second. Styles. Metals. What? Oh, fucking hell. This is 
so nice. I can do so much with the gun. I can I do so much with the gun. I can make my pistols go. <laughs> I can dual wield gold pistols that are fully engraved. Oh, but it doesn't change the. If you need anything, let me know. All right, let's buy that, and then let's see about um the grip. See if we can we get a grip a that matches. New trigger, brand new bolt. Pearl deck. grip. It's a bit ostentatious, isn't it? I don't like it for Arthur. I think. Although with the black, that's actually quite nice. But it is a little ostentatious. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Styles, metals. Yeah, it's it's a touch it's a touch too ostentatious. What if we make it all No, I think we just take I think we just take it iron. I think that looks better to be honest with you, I think. I think otherwise it's it's very ostentatious and it's a bit much. Right. Okay, so can I buy another one now? Yes, I can buy Smile another one. On your face, right, and then I need to do the exact same thing, okay? We can do a lot. Do we need to go ebony trigger, grip? Brand new bolt. We need to go pick. rifling, improved rifling. You know iron what? sights improved iron sights. I, I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers. Parts, then we go styles. We keep the metals as we are. So we've decided that we go full engraving. Yeah, I want them to match. You see, and we get rid of the cylinder. Was there a way of changing the engraving color or something? Shit. Inlay material, there we go. Yep. Do that. <laughs> this is where all our money goes. We change the grip carving to the puma as well, because if it weren't for all the bounties running around new Hanover, I'd be out of business. Right. So that's that's it, that's set up. Okay. So now we can leave. Now we should. Cannot wait to give this a try should have double pistols now that have been inlaid and whatnot. Let's go field revolver. How do I change it? I don't know how to change it. Do I need to go back to my camp in order to like select all my weapons properly and stuff or? Did I not actually buy two of them? I'm fairly certain I bought two of them. Oh, there we go. Two Skullman revolvers. And we can maintain it. Weapon is clean. Back. Right, let's get out of town. So we can draw them and have a quick fiddle. I just spent all the money on that. On these two guns. <laughs> the, f the frugality is gone now that I've found a way to customize pistols. Desperately want someone to try and kill me now. Right. Let's just ride down here a little bit. And then hopefully we can figure out how to use them. Get to like... Yeah, I think this should be far enough away from town. Yeah. Your horse is agitated by a predator. So do we have... Yeah, we've got our two engraved pistols going on now. Alright, what's the predator that my horse is agitated by? Where? That would kind of be perfect for us to shoot. That.
Are they wolves or like little coyote things? I think they're just little coyote things, aren't they? I think they'll run away when we get near them. Yeah. Alright, fine. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> Bit of a longer reload time, but it does mean we have to we have longer to shoot before reloading, you know, we can put out more bullets before we reload. I think that's a nice upgrade. I think getting the new guns is just brilliant. I'm pissed off that I lost my free gun. I don't know how that's happened. I'm very irritated by that. Hey, partner. Hey, head still rolling free country, from the road. Hey, shut your damn mouth. Shut up. How about I blow your brains out? I didn't say talk. You gonna take that? And you what you gonna do? Ah! We get him? Yeah, look at that! Yeah, you run, bitch. Okay, so our double pistols are awesome. We're completely out of ammo for them, though. We should probably fix that before the next episode, but... That is it. We've done some pretty horrible stuff, some pretty cool stuff. Mostly it's been horrible today. We did rescue that woman. Maybe that balances out our karma. According to our honor, we're a good, good boy. But I feel terrible. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching, everyone. It's been a great time from Arthur and from our little beautiful silver dust pony. Good. Bye. Yeah. I lost honor. Why did I fucking lose honor? I got on my horse.